Before we begin this video, I would just like to inform the squad that our glyph is now officially available on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. You can ask for a code on our Discord server. Link to our Discord is at the video description below. Also, there are still glyph codes for PC players left, so, if you haven't got our glyph yet, then come visit us on Discord and get one. Okay, so today, we will be discussing on what I considered to be one of the best weapon in this game, the Maraditron. Why I consider it as a top tier weapon you asked? Maraditron is a secondary shotgun that packs a lot of status chance, in fact, you can easily reach 100% status chance with the help of 4 dual status mods. Since it's a shotgun, each pellet it shoots has a guaranteed chance to proc a status if you happen to mod it with 100% status chance. The only downside I see on this weapon is its fall off damage and as well as that annoying recoil. However, these negatives are manageable by using the right warframe for the job, or installing the necessary mods. A Rivenless Maraditron can melt enemies like this level 125 corrupted bombards with ease because 1, it has innate radiation damage which these types of enemies are weak into, and 2, because of that very high status chance, that it can strip their armors and deal more damage, same goes with level 125 corrupted heavy gunners, it may not be as fast as killing those corrupted bombards but, with a few shots, we can strip their armors away and, the damage output of this gun is pretty decent against these enemies also. So this is the mod setup I was using against those enemies. Like I have said earlier, 4 dual status mods can give you 100% status chance for Maraditron. Now, I have been modding some status weapons wrong in the past. One of them is the Coom. I thought that there's no difference between modding for multi-shot first before status chance, and status chance before multi-shot. I thought that it would be fine, for as long as you receive 100% status chance on this percentage, which is absolutely wrong. The proper way is to mod it with status mods first, before equipping multi-shot mods. So, as you can see, if we remove these multi-shot mods, it shows you that my build has 100% status chance. Basically status chance for this weapon is crucial, to give each pellets a guaranteed status proc and, multi-shot mods are beneficial, as it adds more pellets. Now you may wonder, why I added 190% status mods on this build, it's because I want to proc corrosive more often, which is why I decided to add pathogen rounds on it. However, this slot here is optional and, if you think you need more stability, then go for steady hands. Anyway, the damage output of Maraditron is pretty good with just these 4 dual status mods, Hornet Strike, and these multi-shot mods. Lastly, if you have a Riven, then you can add it on this slot. For a Maraditron Riven, I highly advise rolling for status chance as a priority roll, damage or multi-shot for secondary roll. Negative recoil is also good for this weapon. And for this Riven mod, it has three of those positive stats, damage, multi-shot and negative recoil. Okay, I know you are curious how this Riven performs, so, let me give a short demo. Now let's talk about synergy. This weapon is an all-rounder weapon, and it can be used by any warframes on low to high level missions, and even on endgame levels. However, there's just a few frames that makes this weapon insanely great. You can give it more damage by using it with frames like Chroma, Mirage, Rhino or Octavia. You can also use it with the Burb Zephyr. Just add the Jet Stream Augment on her, give its build a decent amount of power strength and it will minimize that fall off damage of Maraditron. However, when it comes to the ultimate synergy, then look no further and use Mag. This Warframe just makes Maraditron insanely great because of her magnetizability. In fact, if you want to play Mag on endurance runs, I highly advise that you try out Maraditron with this awesome Warframe. High damage, 
pellets that has guaranteed status proc every time, and a really high status chance, what more can you ask for? Truly, Maruditron is a top tier weapon that can be enjoyed by many casual, and hardcore players alike. In all honesty, this is a secondary weapon that every Tenno in the game must have. By the way, be sure to check out my next video about Nizza. I will be giving my insights about this frame's rework, and give you some awesome builds that you will surely love. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it, and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more Warframe videos from us. Thank you so much for watching, Squad Leader signing off.